So everyone is getting pissed at country music star Jason Aldean because of a recent music video he released for his song, Try That in a Small Town, where one of the sites featured in his video was once used to hang black people. Now, the site itself is not the question here. My biggest issue is, why is anybody shocked? Country music is deeply rooted in that southern heritage not hate bullshit, even though that heritage is literally based in hate and bigotry. The Confederate flag is often used in imagery in music videos and album covers for artists and bands throughout its history, and as someone who grew up listening to it, I can attest that not all of it is bad and not all artists who sing country music are bad. But the industry itself is rooted in the southern history and heritage which itself is rooted in white supremacy. So it should come as no surprise that Jason Aldean would have chosen that particular site as part of his video. Now I'm not saying that he intentionally chose that particular site, in fact it actually sounds that like his team might have actually chose that site. Um, but. Even so, sheer ignorance is not an excuse. Keep in mind, this is the same man who defended his wife, Brittany, uh, in the wake of her transphobic statements last year about how she was glad that her parents didn't try to change her gender. This is the problem with American conservatism today, especially Dixie conservatism, which frankly is just neo-Nazism with extra steps. It is deeply rooted in white supremacy. It is deeply rooted in maintaining American traditionalism, nationalism, native, nativism, and jingoism while perpetuating an aura of neo-confederacy. No shit. The whole lost cause mentality. It is deeply rooted in maintaining the patriarchal family unit, perpetuating soft or just outright hard misogyny or sexism and is deeply rooted in cis supremacy, as very few songs, let alone artists, often portray any sense of diversity and at times go out of its way to be transphobic and homophobic. Any artist who is gay or trans who tries to express their gender identity or their sexuality is often not promoted or never even given the same opportunities as their trans heteronormative counterparts largely because the main demographic of country music listeners are white, cis, heteronormative, conservative Christians. Hell, I'll quote Jeremy Clarkson when he said that there are three main religions down there. George Bush, God, country, and Western. Though I think with the first one we could probably update that to Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis. In that order, too. Ascending order. And at the end of the day, Jason Aldean is a rich, cis, heteronormative, white conservative and a Christian American from Georgia. He is an active contributor to an industry that has long had its fair share of problematic and proudly politically incorrect individuals in music. Many people within that industry are also very conservative. Many are active supporters of the National Rifle Association. Many of them are or were active supporters of Donald Trump look no further than Toby Keith or Trace Adkins. You want to know why Hank Williams Jr. was booted from Monday and Sunday Night Football? Because he said some profoundly ignorant and stupid racist shit. This isn't the cancel culture wave that's just being annoying and targeting someone for no reason as social justice warriors tend to do. This is a genuine problem that people like Jason Aldean and frankly many country music artists have to address and confront. When someone does say, do, or invoke images of racism or misogyny, misogyny or transphobia, yeah, you kind of deserve to be cancelled at that point. My point here is, is that nobody should be shocked by this. Country music at its core is rooted in a problematic and often racist history, and Jason Aldean is not the first, nor will he be the last artist steeped in this controversy. He is just another voice in a choir of ignorant white southerners who continue to benefit of an industry that peddles a certain message. 
and the only difference that it will make is that he will gain some fans, maybe lose a few fans, and probably likely lose endorsements and potential collaboration opportunities because of this. Boycotts won't work because nobody will honestly give enough of a crap, and, the, and these people already have been paid and goddess knows they have all, you know more money than they need anyway. Instead of being shocked and angry, maybe understand that the industry and people like Aldean have always been like this, and that it's in, unlikely going to change. Instead, we can only hope that this industry slowly dies a horrible and miserable death, or gets swallowed by other genres of music in the coming decades, or that people try to integrate their sound and influence into it through other modern forms of social media and hope that that forces, change, forces the change in and the bigots out, though I'm not holding my breath. I'm Red Peg and Nicole, and this has been Red Peg and Corner. Y'all come back now, you hear? Super sweet,